Hello everybody. Now in this video of this series, what we're going to learn about is stop words. Let's understand what is this first of all. Okay. So you remember this sentence. Okay. So here, if you notice these words like is a for, these are nothing but just added to remaining words so that all of these words could be connected together and drives a good sense in human language okay which we can also say natural language but in terms of machine these are not something which makes much sense so what we exactly do is we remove them to make it simple for a machine further to learn and understand it and respond it accordingly so these are nothing but these highlighted words are nothing but referred to be the stop words so python has a whole list of stop words for each of the languages here we are dealing with english so we will be having a look at the list of english stop words and how to remove them in python let's jump to the jupyter notebook so here we are in jupyter notebook so for that to you know have a list of stop words first we need to import the module what is that so we're gonna say from nltk dot corpus here is what you go import and let's just ha have a look on this I'll, I'll just bring the whole list and in that do we have something called stop words yeah we have something called stop words okay so here it gives us some error because here there is a misspelling stop word we don't need this okay what's yeah now it is done now let's create an object what we can say is in let's say stop words dot do we have words yes and now in this we need to give a language for which we want to have the list of stop words so we want to have the list of english stop words that's what we got over here all right now let's see how many are there 179 stop words are there in english which we need to identify in our given paragraph or uh, word or whatever we have and then we will see how can we remove them so first i'm going to store this so these were for english if you want you can if you are some someone who is in spain you can try this for spanish you can check for french you can check for french similarly you would have it for other languages as well okay english okay so here we got now i'm just going to put this in a list called english stop words so this is the list i am done with creating for stop words now the you remember the last if you are following the videos in this series that is very good right and you would be able to relate it easily so you remember in the last video we created a list of words which were limitized all right now here we have the list of words which were limitized those were last processed list okay so i'm just going to use this list here i have it as independent right so i'm just going to use this list and wherever i find stop word i want to remove them how can i remove them so for let's just have a list here is what we have and now let's uh, let's create another list uh, i can say base words and that's a blank list i'm just going to have a blank list for this and i'm going to say for i in limitized limitized if i not in if i not in english stop words then i want to say base words dot append i so what exactly i'm trying to do is here i'm looping through the words which i have stored in this particular list and i'm checking if each word for example learn area 
whether this is part of the list of stop, stop words which we have created over here or not. If not, then I want to append that in base word. If yes, then I just want to exclude that. Now let's just have a look on the base words. Now what you see over here, if you compare is a for all those words are gone right so this is how you can remove the stop word if you want to use uh, you know uh, if you want to apply this thing on this big paragraph page four i would highly recommend you to just go ahead and do that okay first you know tokenize them then do the stemming or limitization and then come to removing the stop words now that we have removed the stop words let's try to you know put this in uh, here you remember we had created this data frame right so i will try to put that in this data frame itself okay how can we do that so let's let's try this okay i'm considering that you are not very much advanced level pandas user and using that uh, considering that i'm just going to do this stop words removed or let's call it base words all right and then here let's try to put this base words the list which we created oops it is giving us error. now what this error is let's just have a look on this here it says length of values 10 does not match length of index 15 okay what that what does that mean so if you see this particular data frame here it has three columns and if you see the number of rows are 15 we have 15 rows right but when you remove these top words it is becoming 10 in length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i know this is something which again doesn't make sense so this kind of inaccuracies you can remove using regular expression or you can do um, you know uh, you can treat all these bases on your own sense right we need to apply some r sense as well okay you, even in fact if you want you can have your own customized list of stop words it's not necessary that you, you use this list only you can just store all those words which you want to remove okay and then you can prop follow the same process now the point is how to fix this particular part so for that what we're going to do is <clears throat> we will use df and in the df the column on which we would like to apply this condition or this stop word removal is column name is this dot apply let's just give it a second to load it itself apply and inside that i'm going to say lambda oops x so what exactly we need to do is it will go through the values which are available into it and we want to say that if stop words is available into it then instead of that what we what is it that we would like to populate we would like to populate na value right so wherever you know for example if i show you over here right so for example here we have is and a but if you remove these top words it will be gone and that's how it reduce the length so if you up if you want to create another column so in front of these in the same row what value that you want to populate i, I would like to populate an n value right so for that we require to import one more module which is called numpy import numpy as np and over here i would say apply lambda np dot nan if x not in or we can say it the other way if x in english word english stop word where is that list the list is right over here Oops, please bear with me okay else we just want to put we would like to put x itself okay 
so this x is nothing but it is directly indicating to this variable so we are simply saying in this variable if this variable contains any value from stop list sorry stop word list instead of that just put mp.nan otherwise just populate x let's try to run what do you think it's gonna work yeah it just worked let's just see that so this is the output if you see over here here we had is so is, is a spot uh, sorry stop word instead of that we're gonna have nan same goes for for a etc so this is how you can remove these stop words you can apply it on your own series and if you want to practice i would highly recommend you to apply all these things on this big you know set of words all right thank you very much for watching the video now we will start with modeling stuff so see you in the